This is an awesome place and I have had so many questions about my kit um, lately and I keep telling people, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Uh, so today we are going to do it and I'm very excited about that. So I am going to see if I can flip my camera around. Oh, we can. Awesome. All right. So here is my booth. Now it's important to me when I set up a booth that you can easily tell what I'm doing. So you can see I've got my henna flag up there. I've got a banner that says face paint and henna. Um, I printed this off Vistaprint. And one thing that you wanna know um, is that they don't sell this size right here. And so what I did is I printed it twice on the same banner and then I cut it in half. So, oh, the other half is inside. So you can see half of it's right there. It says face painting. And then this one says face painting and henna. So I have one for either way that I'm set up. Okay. Um, I hope you guys are having fun. I'm having fun. Honestly, I have been more nervous for this live than any of my others because instead of teaching you how to do something, I mean, I guess I'm teaching you about how to do a booth, but anyway, I'm like just showing you uh, me. So, okay, here is a sign that I printed. Um, Back. and I'm gonna tell you guys about all kinds of people so Tal from Art Factory we did some training she's got a creative hustle group that is awesome and it was all about branding so this is where I was saying things that I want people to know um, and then this is where I went to so here's my new one and it was all about like not hiding and letting people see who you are and what you do and so Fairy Fox Design, helping people feel seen and celebrated. I've got my website, I've got my phone number. So anyway, trying to have it really simple branding. There you go. Okay, I've got a little bit of glitter tattoos set up. And then this is something new this year for me. Um, I went and I bought a bunch of tapestries. They're like $15 on Amazon. They're a really lightweight fabric. So I can use them to block the sun in my booth, but it also helps add to the mood. And so I get to feel like I'm in the forest, which is nice. But the cooler thing is that when I take kids pictures, they have an awesome background, which I really like. Okay. So, uh, stay hydrated. There you go. You've got glitter back there. Um, I really like having nice glitter. So, um, Oh, I forget the brand of glitter, but um, Art Factory sells it. It's it, They're the people that do the glitter tattoos. Somebody in the comments, throw this brand in there if you recognize this. Um, y Body is the glue that I like, um, but yeah, it's just really nice. I like to have, I'll show you a couple differences. I like to have a holographic glitter when I'm using it on the face paint. So it kind of shines a rainbow but then I like to have just solid colors that don't do that when I'm putting it on glitter tattoos. Okay, so let's move on to brushes. I think of brushes as like relationships. You've got your best friends um, and you need to make sure that you know who you like. So we'll start with our palette knife. You can get these at Michael's or Joann's or whatever, but what you want is you want a firm blade. If you have one that's too flimsy, it's not gonna do the work that you need it to do. So this is my favorite shape. Um, what this allows me to do is when there's an issue with my paint, like you can see I need to put some more in there, I can like scoop it out of here and put it in and, and whatever. It's just really nice to have. Um, I also like to have a pair of scissors because you need them sometimes. When you don't have something you need, it's frustrating. Okay. Now, um, you can see I've got all kinds of different brands of brushes in here. I've got Mark Reed's, I've got Marcella's, I've got some sparkling faces ones that are amazing. Um, Protégé, you guys know I love the Protégé brushes. But more important than the brand of the brush, for like everybody needs this brush, you need to try them all and find the brushes that work for you. So we're gonna hang out with brushes for just a quick second. So the brushes that we all need in our kits are the round brushes. So this is a number four. Um, I like to start at a number one or two. So that's something like this. You're gonna get some really nice details. Let's put on a white background. Really nice detail work. Um, and I like to have one that's just for white and then one that's for black and then one that's for color. So I like to have three round brushes of every size that I have. So a size one, a size four, and a size six. Um, this brush is my favorite and they quit making it forever ago. Denise Cold turned me onto these. Um, and it's a size eight round. I absolutely love it, but they quit making it. So don't ask me how to get some because if I knew I would have lots of those. Okay, 
So those are our round brushes. Next, we need filberts. So this is about a half inch filbert. Um, this is about as big as I like to go. I really like painting with filberts. I like to have three sizes of those. So you want a small, medium, and a large. Um, if we pull, this one's kind of messy, sorry about that. But you can see we've got a little filbert and then we've got a medium one and then we've got this nice big large one. And you'll find that when you're reaching for a brush, you'll reach for the one that you need. And so it will, t like the relationship thing, they will tell you, okay, so we have our filberts, we have our round brushes, then we need our flats. Now with our flats, you can see I've got a half inch and a three quarter inch. Those are the only flats I really use. I don't go much smaller, but I do like to have a short bristled flat right here and a long bristled flat. You can see the haircut that this brush got. Um, the longer bristles carry more water. So you're going to be able to get a smoother load um, when you use this longer brush. I use it for rainbows and pretty much that's my rainbow brush. Um, and then I use my shorter one anytime I wanna lay down a base that I'm going to then put paint on top of. So if I'm basing out a dinosaur, I'll use my shorter bristles. Okay, next we have to take a look at angle brushes. So I like to have the little angle brush the medium and the large, small, medium, and large, always in your brushes, um, and that's great. They also do make, this brand is the Face Painting Shop. I just picked this one up at Fabaic, and it has the short bristles again. And um, I am still learning uh, to dance with that brush. I do think of the brushes as a dance partner. So my hand is the man, and the brushes are the female, lead follow and amazing things happen. Okay, so specialty brushes. Once you've got your basics, there are a few specialty brushes that I guarantee are worth playing with. Um, so first one is the petal brush or the flora brush. They kind of do the same job. The flora just is a little bit fancier. So these are brushes that have a lot of bristles and they go down to a smooth tip. This is our double loaded petals. We can do leaves with these. They're really great. Um, I would definitely recommend having some of those in your kit. And then um, the dagger brush is really fun. It's a little bit tricky to control, um, but that's part of what makes it awesome is that we don't have perfect control for this brush. Um, so again, this is a face paint shop one, um, a qu one quarter. I love this brush. So that's a really good one. Um, and then um, if anybody wants to do the work of posting links to anything, um, this is a video that is link friendly. So if you sell some of this stuff or if you love to buy it from a certain somebody, feel free. Let people know where to get this stuff because it's awesome. Um, this is a um, Marcella Bustamante brush. Um, this is a script liner brush. So as you can see, um, this is, oh, Ashley, thank you. Love you too. Okay. Here we have super long bristles and this allows for more water and more water means more paint. So this can do some incredibly long lines. When you have longer bristles, it doesn't matter if you're looking at an angle brush or a flat brush or a round brush, you have less control. Um, when you have less control, elegant, beautiful things happen, but you have to be willing to have less control. It's like having a high spirited horse. It's awesome, but it can be scary. <laughs> so um, there is that one. This one, again, it's another Marcella. Love this brush. Um, this is a long bristled filbert. It's the first long filbert bristle I had. Oh, what do I use the dagger brush for? I'm so glad that you asked, Cass. Um, let me just show you really fast um, what you do with a dagger brush because you guys aren't gonna believe it. Okay, so get it wet. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna load it up. Now remember to take your time when you're loading. Sometimes kids get, almost get impatient with me because I'm just sitting here having this little loading party um, and it's a personal part of the face painting journey. So when you're touching the kid and you're painting on the kid and you're doing, you know, that's all with them. Loading is just me. Um, it's me and my brush and my paint. So I'm just getting it nice and creamy and now I'm happy. Okay, so now we need a knee because I don't have a kid, so oop, there's my knee. All right, here we go. So it's loaded really well. This has a really long side of the brush and a really short side. So this brush, I love it for Spider-Man. If you stay on the edge of the dagger brush, 
and you push and pull. Look at that beautiful teardrop. So this teardrop is going to always have a point because we have that pointy edge. Um, so that's, that's great fun, but this is where the dagger brush really shines. So then we come here and we touch that down and then we squish it down and then we pull. And do you see that slice? Oh my gosh, look at that. I absolutely love that. So that is where the dagger brush, I mean, you can take a dagger brush and because we've got so much paint in it, you can do these little thin lines for days. And so this is great for cat whiskers. Um, yeah, all of this is awesome. Um, but the thing that I use it the most for is the tiger stripes. So we pull the bristles and then you can wiggle them if you wanna wiggle and then pull, sorry, that was off camera. Um, so you can do the wiggle. I don't wiggle a lot in my tiger stripes. So I pull and I lay down and I pull again. And then I can flip the brush and pull down again. And you can see you just get these really crisp edges and you don't have to try as hard to get that really thin point as you do with a round brush. A round brush, in order to do this, it involves rolling the brush in your fingers and there's just, there's a lot of a trick. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick break from the brushes and I'm gonna walk out here um, and I'm gonna show you my board. So I like to have low enough that the kids can really interact it um, at a And so often what I'll do is I'll have cards made on the table that match. And so then I can hop over and do it. So here, these were made at Staples. Um, this is printed on um, an 11 by 17 page. The next time that I printed them, I got rid of this white so that all the pictures got bigger. But you can see I do four sizes. I do small, I do medium, I do large, and I do extra large. So it's just, it's contained but then I'm always telling people pick whatever you want that's just what I've got okay I've got a couple of henna books on the table I've got a little glitter tattoo thing oh my gosh somebody did a super thanks I don't know if you guys have heard of this but it's a way that you can just say thank you to me it's like a tip jar for a YouTube video and I am going to get a snow cone today with that thank you I will enjoy your snow cone okay festival glitter this is huge so um this is a stock photo and she looks so happy, so I love it. Um, but I just do glitter on the cheeks, glitter and gems, and then glitter, you can see I just keep adding things, so that's that. This is a new one that is so awesome. I love this. Okay, so I have my Venmo here, right? Yes, we do parties, put that everywhere, because people won't think of it. I don't know why they don't think of it. Um, and then you can also have your business cards out here. And thank you, Tal, again, my business cards match my branding so we've got that on both sides and then i went through and i printed some business cards that have um different ethnicities on them because um i was talking to some people and just i really want everybody to feel reflected in my booth so there are my business cards you can put those out um and then this is the one i was excited to show you so it has my information but google reviews help your business be found and we have a lot of people that care about us they're standing in line for hours to get us and so this is a way to make it really easy for them to review you and so um, you miss all the chances you don't take right and so just putting that out on my table I have already gotten more Google reviews in the last couple of weeks than ever before and it's not like I'm rolling in the reviews but I have some and that's being really nice Okay, so I try and keep my space clear and clean, but you can see that it's not super clear and clean. And so being able to have like a cup where all these brushes go. Um, Annalie, shout out to Annalie. I picked up some of these awesome, super full brushes and I'm still learning how to use them. So uh, ask Annalie how to use that, <laughs> but her stuff is so cool. Um, anyway, okay, so then here is this really cool wig tape um, that works i got that on amazon and that is how i do my gems so this is my journal it also has my schedule in it so if somebody wants to check a day or whatever i usually have them email me but i like to have it in case i need to write down notes or whatever here are my loose gems if you end up with a really rainy day or something it can be nice to have something to do that doesn't take a lot of brain power 
So then I turn my loose gems into these really fun little gem clusters. And throw a comment down below if you would like me to make a video on how to make these. Um, if you guys all already know, then that's fine and we don't need to do that. Um, but you can see like every single one is its own little awesome thing. You can make them bigger, which is really fun. I love this one. Um, and so I don't try and sell these. Um, I have it with my festival glitter pairing, um, but I use them on the cute little kid or on the design that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this design and I really want a picture. I'll use that. Next, the festival glitter. My current go-to, oh my goodness, I love these. This is um, the UV palette, but here you go, vividglitter.com. Uh, these are awesome, and the reason is because I hate lids. <laughs> I hate all the time. Okay, the tape for the gems, good question. That is, um, it is wig tape, so it's not, that's not a brand or anything, that's just what it is. So this is what people use to get their wigs to not move around. So because people have been using this to stick things to their face, I feel really confident that I can use this to stick things to people's face. Um, it's just a double-sided roll of tape. You can see there's an angle cut on it. So all I do is I just cut it right there and then I have my piece to put gems on. Um, okay, so back to here. So this works super great because it just pops open and now I have all these colors. So if I've done a fancy design like, um, an ocean scene or something. I've got blue that I can put that in. Um, and then I've got some green and these ones are mixed a little bit. So this isn't exactly a certain palette that you can buy, but this palette size is my favorite. I love it. Um, and then let me just show you how cool this is. So back to my awesome knee. Uh, so we grab some of this purple and I'll even like double and triple load my finger. So you can also use, um, like disposable like q-tips and stuff if you don't want to put your finger in your glitter um but then all you have to do is just touch down and you can see like you just smear it around and it goes right over the paint without smearing the paint which is just awesome now you can't rub it in there or you're gonna end up rubbing some things off but if you just do a really nice quick little glitz oh it's fantastic um and i'm gonna be sparkly all day which is fun okay so this is a current must it has replaced my loose glitter on top of the designs for most of the time okay we're almost done you guys which i'm really happy and also really sad about that but let me just show you my paint so i love to have a water well i actually currently have been painting with two of these which is amazing because you have a wash water and then you have a rinse water so if you have one, you can see I've only painted a couple faces and it's already getting kind of murky. If I have a second one, then I wash everything here and then I go to my second one whenever I load and the loading water stays clean forever. Now, maybe not forever, but for a long time. I've also played with the rinse well um, to use that as my loading water. Um, anyway, but whatever your water system, that's been really fun for me to try. Okay, now I am at a full blown festival. This is my paint. Like, I love this little thing. So this came from Art Factory. You, they developed this, and I'm so glad that they did, but you can see it just lifts right out. Um, and so you can have a bunch of these that are ready to go. Um, and then this is just a laptop case. We're all familiar with those. Um, and so your laptop case uh, is something that you just put the paint in. Um, it holds a thousand grams of paint. So if these were each 25 gram little one strokes and these are 50 grams, I did the math. That's awesome. Um, you can repot from a one stroke or you can load this yourself. Um, I'm going to be uploading hopefully soon within the next month, um, a new how to cut your one strokes using an amazing new tool that I'm excited to teach you about. So there it is. It's awesome. You can see that you go through the paint faster when you don't have as much, but what that means is that you get fresh new paint more often. Um, you can also get two of these so that you have twice as much paint right now. I just have a foam insert on this side so that I have my paint right there. Um, last but not least, Oh, black and white separate wolf. Yes. This is mostly tag. Um, take a screenshot so that you can see the colors that I like to use. This is my current favorite rainbow. It's one that I developed. It has neon, yellow, neon, pink, lavender, 
and then light blue and then this is actually superstar instead of tag um blue but i'm changing that and the next time i make them this is going to be the green and if you've noticed my instagram lately it's covered in these and it's awesome so last we've got stencils i don't use a ton of them but for mermaid scales and for extra little things those are great so thank you guys so much for coming to my event i have some people waiting for me so i better go but i hope that this has helped you if you have more questions let me know um just a shout out to another subscriber and um so today i have all of my stuff on the right side and i really like it i'm lying it's on my left side um i have it on the left side i like to switch and have it on the left one day and the right on the next day and that helps my body twist one way and then the other so that it's good um i missed the last comment uh something about noticing a pop-up i'm sorry let me see if i can pull them up um no oh there we go hi notice pop-up has walls do i ever use them yes yes my pop-up is undercover i love this tent the walls are on a curtain system let me just show that to you real fast guys i'll be right with you um okay hold on here we go so these hook to a wire at the top of the tent and then all i have to do at the end of the day before i leave is i just open this up and boom i just pull the curtain and there's no rolling it up or dealing with velcro or any of that and it just opens and shuts so um love to you all i hope your summer is going well and um i'm proud of you for things and i'm sorry for the other hard things and i just hope you keep sharing your stories with me and i'll keep sharing mine with you love you guys hello to peru nicole you're welcome thanks everyone who joined bye